Hi boys and girls, I have a story for you. Yoko's Show and Tell by Rosemary Wells. Yoko's Show and Tell has some information for us. Girls' Day, March 3rd in Japan is Girls' Day called Hina Masuri, the doll festival. Parents display Hina dolls in their homes to wish their daughters good health and happiness. Boys' Day, May 5th, is Tango no Seku, the Boys' Festival. On this day, parents fly or hang carp kites, a symbol of courage and strength, to celebrate their sons. Yoko's Show and Tell One afternoon, when the wind blew and the snow flew, the mailman knocked on the door. He had a package for Yoko. It had come all the way from Japan. Yoko opened the package carefully. Inside was a little doll in a kimono. A note said, my name is Miki. Long ago, I belonged to your mama. Before that, to your Obasan and great Obasan. Please sit me on my red carpet steps and bring me candy until girls day. Obasan and Ojiasan will visit soon after. There was a note from Yoko's Obasan and Ojisan, her granny and grandpa in Japan. Yoko's mama helped Yoko arrange the red carpet for Miki. Yoko placed Miki in the window and brought her candy each morning. By evening, the candy was gone. At last, the morning of Girls Day came, March 3rd. Yoko brought Miki a platter of peach blossom cakes that her mama had made in honor of the celebration. At my school, they don't know about Girls' Day, said Yoko. I will take Miki to school for show and tell. Miki is too delicate to take to school, said Yoko's mama. Please, 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 mama, said Yoko. Yoko's mama shook her head. In her big no voice, she told Yoko, We don't trouble trouble, our trouble will trouble us. But Yoko was too excited about Girls' Day. Everyone in my class will love you, she said to Miki. I will bring you right home and Mama will never know. On the school bus, the Franks saw Miki peeking out of Yoko's coat. What's that, Yoko? asked Frank. You'll see and show and tell, said Yoko. I want to see now. Frank grabbed Miki from Yoko. He tossed Miki all the way down the aisle of the school bus. No, said Yoko, please no. Hey, this is fun, said the other Frank. Back and forth, Miki went. At last, Miki bounced off the ceiling and landed in a puddle on the bus floor. We are going to be in so much trouble with Mrs. Jenkins. Not, it's not even funny, said the Franks. In school, Mrs. Jenkins asked, Do you have a show and tell surprise for us today, Yoko? Yoko could not answer. Yoko could not do her singing or drawing. She would not eat her lunch. Mrs. Jenkins called Yoko's mama. Yoko's mama drove Yoko home from school. Tea and sweet bean candy will make you feel better, my little lotus flower, said Yoko's mama. But nothing helped. I'll get Miki, said Yoko's mama. She'll make you smile. No, said Yoko. Yoko brought out Poor, ruined Miki. Do you still love me? Yoko asked her mama. Yoko's mama whispered, You have made a bad mistake, my little lotus flower, but I love you just as much as ever.
We will take Miki to the emergency room of Dr. Kirishura's doll hospital, said Yoko's mama. What a terrible accident, said Dr. Kirishura. Miki will have to go into surgery right away. All week long, Yoko went to the doll hospital during visiting hours. Yoko brought the red bean candy and sat, sat next to Miki's bed. Dr. Kirishura mended Miki's arms. He repaired the crack in her face and applied a new nose. Miki's lips were repainted so smoothly and neatly you could see no scars at all. Yoko's mama sewed a brand new kimono of flowered silk. Yoko made Miki a pair of new white cotton socks. Miki may go home tomorrow, said Dr. Kirishura. Miki was all ready for Abai-san and Oji-san springtime visit from Japan. Obasan admired Miki's new kimono. She is so beautiful and not one scratch after all these years, she said. Who's that outside scrubbing the steps, raking all the peach blossoms and pulling up the weeds, asked Ojiya-san. I'm sure you recognize those two who were outside cleaning. But in the story, it was not just the Franks who made a mistake. Yoko did too. We should always be honest, tell the truth, and listen to our parents when they give us directions. <laughs>